I have incredibly bullish news for you. For those of you that need a little bit of comfort from where we are at right now, I have some numbers for you that are going to guarantee make you bullish, okay? But first, we have some even more bullish news on Bitcoin, okay? This is from Joe, Joe Carlosari. He says, if you cut all discretionary spending by the US government, you still have a budget deficit. The vast majority of government spending is mandatory and on autopilot. Uh, things like interest on debt, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, military retirement benefits, etc. If you are a serious financial hawk, tell me your plans to reform Medicare, Social Security, military requirement benefits, etc. Well, Lynn Alden uh, commented on this and she said, in other words, nothing stops this train. And guys, this is a train wreck, absolute train wreck. There's nothing that's going to save this system from utter collapse other than their CBDC. But I don't want to talk too much about that before I get shadow banned. But that is the truth here. Um, that is what is going to be coming. That's what it's going to take place of the US dollar. What to do? You know, buy Bitcoin, Monero. And if you want to also see what we are buying, check out learningcrypto.com. Okay, next up. This is why we are going to have a vicious, vicious bear market. And I know I just said that I'm going to have some very bullish news, but I need to give you the bearish news first. Okay, Vanguard recently forecasted annual U.S. stock returns over the next decade of 3.4% to 5.4%. By contrast, uh, Vanguard's outlook for U.S. bonds is rosier, rosier <laughs> at 4.6% to 5.6%, according to the firm's mid-year outlook published last month. So when they see, when BlackRock sees 2x, 3x of their of profits, you don't think they're going to take profits, guys? Like when they see unrealized gains at 2 to 3x? Yeah, they're going to sell. And they're going to sell before retail sells. And when retail sells, things are going to be much more bleak in terms of Bitcoin price. It's just the Bitcoin price, not the fundamentals of Bitcoin are going to be the same. OK, that's the really good news. But for people that want to buy cheaper, my suggestion is that you sell something so that you can buy uh, when we do have a crash. And I think Joe Kruger, I think his name, his name is uh, that uh, he said he's like a Bitcoin maxi guy. And he said uh, we will never see seventy thousand dollars again. Uh, after we, you know, pass that and we start blowing off. Um, and that's people like that are going to be crying like little babies because they're going to realize how wrong they really are. Um, I really think this next bear market is going to be absolutely vicious and ferocious as well. So keep in mind, if you want to check what, when we are going to be selling and I will be selling a little bit uh, sooner than probably the majority of people, it will be at learningcrypto.com. And keep in mind also, just giving you a little bit of heads up, I'm not going to be selling very much Bitcoin and I'm going to be selling pretty much all my alts except about, I'd say 40% of my Ethereum as well. Maybe even 30, I might keep 30% just in case, who knows? I don't know the future of what's going to be happening, but I can kind of guess where it's, where it's heading. Okay, also speaking about fear right now, Fear and greed index is at 25, and that is extreme fear. That is really good, considering we are just below $60,000 right now. Um, and that is, and also open interest. If you've been following this for a while, if you've been looking at our trailers at Learning Crypto, you will know that I'm very interested in open interest, the amount of leverage that is in Bitcoin right now. And that is actually dropping dramatically. We've flushed out all these leveraged longs. And that is absolutely beautiful. The less leveraged people, gamblers in the space, the better off we're going to rise and the healthier the rise is going to be. I know get a lot of hate from, from traders, but keep in mind, only 2% 2 of traders in the world actually make money long term. 
A lot of these like PL gains that you see on Twitter, they're all fake, okay? A lot of these guys are just faking, faking, faking. All right, moving on. We have the Bitcoin price. Uh, 12 months after each halving event. This is gonna make you freaking so bullish. And this is from Ash Crypto uh, Real on Twitter. Okay, he says, uh, 2012 halving. halving. Um, it started out at uh, $182. 12 months later, we, we were at $510. Now, we also have the 2016 halving. Uh, the 2016 started, uh, having started with $661, 12 months later, it was at $2,600. Imagine selling at $1,000 or whatever, and then you missed another one and a half X on, on gains. This is what happens. This is the crypto space. This is the type of gains that you are going to see during a bull market. And yes, we are still during in a bull market. Okay. So also 2020, uh, having, was $8,600, 12 months later, $58,000. So imagine you sell at 10,000 bucks because you're sick of the price action and then it rises to $58,000. You're gonna be kicking yourself, okay? And also during that bull market, it hit $69,000. So yeah, making a six, over six X, seven X gains, you're going to be kicking yourself from selling too early. So now we have 2024 having $63,870. You let me know in the comments below what is going to be the price 12 months after the halving. I would love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, with that said, definitely check out learningcrypto.com, like and subscribe, and let me know what your thoughts are with what is happening uh, globally, uh, economically, um, especially in the United States, you really think that a political savior is going to come in and fix the mess that has been happening since 1913, since the inception of the Federal Reserve, which is unelected, doesn't have a reserve, and is private. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.